Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about CJ Vergara versus Esu Alambayov. CJ Vergara 12-4-1, 3-2 in his last 5 fights. Opens up as a big underdog at plus 340. 32 years old, 5-6 with a 68 inch reach. Fighting Esu Alambayov, 18-2, minus 440 favorite. 30 years old, 5-4 with a 65 inch reach. 3 inch reach advantage for CJ and a 2 inch height advantage as well for CJ. The matter of the fact in this fight is Asu Alambayov is just a better overall fighter. CJ Vergara looked pretty good on Dana White's contender series, but since then, hasn't really found that same magic. I mean, he looked so good against Bruno Bruno Correa. Korea lost to Ode Osborne. I get closer decision, sure. Beat Clitson Rodriguez by very close and was submitted by uh, Tatsuya Teyera. And then he beat Daniel Lacerda, where the referee could have stopped that fight. It was he was literally running. And then he beat Vincius Salvador. So casually, you know, three and two in the UFC on a two fight winning streak, but three and one in his last four fights. Like I said, three and two in his last five. So Again, not a, not including the contender series win, of course, but you know the thing that 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 he tends to be a pretty slow starter. He is also very hittable. Has been submitted two times in his career by Tessie Tierra, like I said, and then he was submitted by Devin Clark, Devin Miller, Jesus, Devin Clark, Devin Miller, who's five and three, so he's not very good, right? You know, but yeah, not good. Anyways, you know, and I think he's actually got a pretty good streak going on. He was, he has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 and 2 since 2018. So he finds ways to win, apparently. So the thing when you watch a, a Sue or you look him up, hopefully you're watching him, but he has 14 wins in a row, 30 years old, like I said. He has 12 finishes out of his 18 wins, has been submitted one time, but I don't really see that, that being much of an issue. Um, he hasn't been submitted once. He's been finished by punches one time by Tager Ulanbekov, um, back in 2017. And then he's beat, yeah, yeah. He had one fight against Ode Osborne and submitted him with a rear naked choke. He looked really, really good in that fight. Like I said, 12 wins, 9 wins by submission. His grappling is going to be on point in this fight. I wouldn't be surprised if he got a first round submission, but... I think he does end up getting a submission in this fight. I probably would say it'll be uh, second or third round. Just because I think that first round, CJ is going to just barely edge out that. Uh, edge it out. Not win it, but edge it out. So, uh, strikes landed per minute 6 to 3.18. He's more of a grappler. He's a Sioux. Striking accuracy is 57 to 65. Absorbed 5. Not good. To 0.49 defense is 53 to 77. Here's where it's interesting takedowns zero for CJ 3.67 40% accuracy. Uh, takedown defense is uh, 74. Never really thought of this uh, grappler, but okay. Two, uh, 0 0.2 and then 3.7 for a Sue. I like a Sue by. Submission. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. Let's talk about it down there in the comment section. Peace.